that I don't have a ticket and I checked online that sometimes the buses are full and I didn't want to do spend the whole night again in San Jose if the buses were full and now I am sitting in the bus it's <laughs> finally working out sleeping for 60 to 90 minutes I am or like the entire bus we are now in the hilly area it looks like Kulu Manali that's that's one of the very beautiful places in India and the driver shut down the engine and I'm scared that the bus broke down and it's going to take longer than really needed I don't like the situation I really hope that it's, it's it hasn't broken down badly like a small thing and it gets repaired because if it's broken down it's really a bad situation because I've got two more hours to reach my destination the bus started the bus started right away it's, it's, it, had, it was broken but I don't think so it was a major thing so I'm very happy People are slowly gathering outside and it seems like we're waiting for another bus but I have no idea because everybody's talking in Spanish and I'm talking to like not so loud because I don't want to be heard by other people. Damn. Looks like there's another bus and we gotta join it. We had this beautiful resort in La Fortuna, directly opposite to this uh, volcano called Arenal Volcano. This resort was having tiny villas and it was very beautiful because it was in the midst of nature. It had random birds, toads, frogs and ducks walking around throughout the day. Like from early morning until the late evening, you could hear the noises from animals around. So the first morning and actually the first entire day was not so active for me. I was mainly just walking around the villa and checking out what things they do and what animals they have. I was mesmerized when I found a couple of vultures having a sun bath on the top of a tall tree and cleaning themselves. Like I have seen vultures back in India but it was the very first time I was seeing them sitting like hmm, I don't care mood and I just want to take a sun bath. <laughs> automatically warm so I would say it's like 23 to 25 degrees warm and in this hotel these people have roughly four to five to hot springs and they're amazing to be in I've never experienced a hot 
for a hot spring. Yesterday was the first time in the fair and I absolutely loved it. So it's like spring here and they've made it like small pools for, for the guests. I also found so many birds that I didn't know what they're called. For example, one, these are one of those. I have no idea how they're called. For me, from all the knowledge that I have on birds, they seem to be looking like partridges, but I'm not sure if they are actually in the same family or different ones. So if you know how these birds are called, let me know in the comment section. So as I told you earlier that this day I was not doing much but just uh, checking out the area around and relaxing, I realized that the white uh, water rafting was really killing me and was sucking all the energy out. So I was just staying home, I didn't do any hike to the volcano, I was just staying home having breakfast, lunch, dinner and relaxing around. I though also went for swimming in the beautiful hot springs they have naturally from the volcano. In Colonis, 1,200. here and today he went to the park to see the animals. So I finally arrived after a very shaky shaky ride and an amazingly strong coffee which was produced by the local people there. There's a lady who attended me and the people, I think so her family owns this farm. This is a very beautiful place. It's not very expensive, it's like $60 a night. And that's why I didn't expect much but it, 
is really it has turned out to be very beautiful i must say it has a very beautiful bathroom here this uh out of original stones i think so they're like proper stones that they have made the walls with then the sink is very pretty i like it very much it looks like very natural then there's this room some some stuff to hang things around there's a small bar i think so i'm not a bar person but yeah the fridge is cool the wine glasses i'm also not a wine person and then this beautiful balcony which has an amazing view to the mountains i must agree that half of the things or most of the things that i experience here look like jammu and kashmir and i really feel like i'm in india but i think so the flora and fauna is a bit different than jammu kashmir but the entire picture of the framework is the same but it's very beautiful and i'm happy to be here came here roughly an hour ago and it was like 27 28 degrees and I was promised that here would be actually a fog forest and I was not very happy when I saw Sun I'm also not a very Sun person but now it seems to be that the people who rode the guide were right so it's a it's a fog forest and there you see there is so much amount of fog coming in like in last two minutes it got completely foggy and two minutes ago it was so sunny that I can believe that it's even this it's even possible this this quick the rest of you is amazing I will probably now uh, leave for lunch because it's two and by the time I reach the restaurant it will be 2 30 or 2 45 and then once I eat the late lunch I can probably skip dinner because that's what I did also yesterday I somehow feel that two meals a day are really enough here I have no idea why it is like that maybe it's um, jet lag or maybe it's just I'm like I'm really full after big meals so yeah let's see what's there in the day for me ahead damn that's what I call real foggy weather it is so it's like the temperature dropped to four degrees and a few minutes ago I could see everything out there but now I cannot actually see even the next tree properly amazing guys a few minutes ago I was about to leave for lunch and there is a big window which is a glass window here and um, I think I was just checking out and seeing that oh you don't even realize there is a, like a glass and then suddenly this bird very small bird just hit herself or itself into the the into this window and i guess it's bleeding a little bit because i see some kind of blood here on the beak i immediately came out i took it in my hand and i hope it's really recovering because i don't want that it should die it also made the poo uh, like um i think uh scare poo i think it was booing because it was scared. Okay. I try to give it water. I hope it drinks. You don't drink, sweetie. Maybe like that. I try some water. Oh, I don't think it wants water. Maybe once more. Uh, I think it doesn't want water, but it's really like scared. I don't know what does it mean when the birds do their feet like this it just looks to be in pain because I had once a bird twice when I was a kid and you can differentiate when the bird is happy or a little bit in pain so yeah it thinks I'm a nest <laughs> it's so funny yeah. oh dear I like you that's the best thing like the second best thing in Costa Rica that is I think so the best thing the second best thing was when I held this one day old kid in my hand <laughs> it's so cute <laughs>
right now in a cloud forest in St. Elena. This is one of the three or four cloud forests that they have here. It's very beautiful, it's very peaceful and calm, as you can see around. Oh. So I am in this jungle, like a kind of a forest, where um, it is so high that the trees and the plants, they basically take the water from the clouds. And because it's high, the clouds are usually there and that's why it's also called a fog forest or a cloud forest. It's really beautiful. It has got like five or four or five tracking or walking pathways from a basic intermediate level to extreme level like longest one i'm not sure whether i will take the longest one so i just started with the smallest one and i will switch to the medium and then a little bit higher and then, then i will come back it's amazingly beautiful it's so quiet it's a little bit cold so i'm wearing my pullover like always and my entire dress is the same i think you guys will often see me wearing the same thing but I have more clothes trust me yeah so I I am really looking forward here to find some of the animals and especially some frogs and anteaters because I've heard that here there will be so I hope that I find them hey guys yeah. we have a line down here I'm sorry don't you want to come up it okay. says two people max on the top oh. uh, Damn this 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 entire thing is so steep. Look at that. Ouch. Just one friendly tip guys. If you're going to hike in any such place, like cloud forest or any jungle where you could potentially see animals or find them, then I would recommend you guys to talk a little bit quietly because animals are usually shy. So when they hear people, they go and hide. So the louder you are, the possibility to find an animal gets smaller. So. Even if you don't know, it's okay because I didn't know in the beginning, I slowly got to learn that. So, if you're at such a place and if you want to find animals, just talk quietly. By far, I just found two lizards and one hummingbird that actually came to me and nothing special so I'm a little bit sad but hope for the best but whatever it is it's amazing wow. status update since I did not see so many animals I decided to take the longest trail it's four and a eight kilometer long there are no more stones I'll be walking on the mud and I expect to see more animals because it's really long quiet and not many people take it so let's go
I've been now walking since 90 minutes. Just saw one additional grasshopper. I don't know whether I made a mistake to take the big route because I'm so sweaty. Took my pullover off. But at least this is an activity and I get to walk. I am half the way done and it has started to rain. Like it's drizzling, I guess it was going to rain strong. The sun is out and I'm 70% done with my track. I found a centipede. I'm happy about that. And I'm now really looking forward to sit and have snacks once this entire track is finished. I will then go back home, relax. The last three minutes, I'm almost at the reception. I have mixed feelings right now. I'm grateful that I actually took the longest path because it was very nice in the nature and it's rare that I get to really walk and hike in a true rainforest or sorry the cloud forest the second is that I'm so tired I'm really like exhausted and I hope that I don't spend my rest of the day because it's just about 30 I hope that I don't spend rest of my day in the bed tired but overall it was very nice saw a few animals than expected but the hiking was good there I already am information yeah so I just got back it was raining heavily and exactly when I left or I was about to take the bus it really went extremely foggy and I'm very lucky that during my hike it didn't happen because I really like cloud forests but rains really make everything wet and so slippery and so uncomfortable so I really am happy that I'm back I had to take a shower because I was sweating first and then it was getting cold and I was not feeling so comfortable. It was another successful day in Costa Rica. I made another experience that I never had before in my diary, which was hiking in the cloud forest and hiking the maximum amount of the route. My route was four and a half, no, 4,8 kilometers, and it was supposed to be done in three and a half hours. And I think so I did it in three hours, though I took like very short breaks to eat and drink, but I'm proud of myself. By the way, there are a few things that you have to keep in mind when you're hiking in a rainforest or in any forest or jungle or in general in nature, and there they are. Oh, you're back here. So now I will enjoy and relax the rest of my day. Good morning guys! It is my last day. I have a small trip. So the place where I'm staying, that is that, that place behind. These people own, so this place belongs to a family and these people own a farm. And there was a small suggestion, a tip to do, a farm tour where they show the farm that they have been living on, like the three generations from this family has been living and how do they grow stuff what do they do what is their lifestyle this trip costs actually 25 dollars one person so i really hope that it's a good one because i was in a dilemma whether i should take it or not because it's way too much then i decided i should take it maybe i get to see something very nice i'm supposed to follow him So is this a new system where a lot of people are using the vegetable this way? This is a way like uh, people used to do in the past. They, they took the bean, the fruit, mm -hmm. dried it in the sun mm -hmm. and then took it to a machine where took out the, the, the peel. The culture is a, it's a crop that uh, was Arrived to Costa Rica more than 100 years ago. If you do have a special bed to dry, you make it up like this, and you hang it up in. in, in a... You people used to do it inside their houses.
have to put the 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 bucket in between your legs, you know? oh, okay. uh -huh, like that. You can dry it and then burn it. You use it as a fuel to to feed the fire, Motor? right? Or you do like yes. the hand? Yes. And then they just put some sh uh, ice cubes in there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's so yummy. Exactly. In the, the self extracted sugar cane juice. Mm. <sighs> so they put the, the wood inside and, and that uh, hits the top part of the stove. This tortilla is uh, it's, uh, corn tortillas, uh -huh. right? With cheese. Uh, this is called gallus. So a cheese tortilla. The aroma is better. Yeah. So it was an amazing guided tour. Earlier I was a little bit skeptical. As I told you, it was I was wondering how will it be. But it really was beautiful. The guy was very nice, very friendly. And he knew a lot of things about plants, of course, he's been living here, he's got his family farm. So Dolas told me a lot about the farm, the plants, different herbs and stuff. So amazing, the weather was perfect, <laughs> didn't rain. Sorry that I'm almost like a dog. By the way, that's Cleo. It lives somewhere around, always follows me. And it's very much steep, so I have to breathe like a dog. Now, I think I've got few hours I have to go to city and get some money and then I will be heading towards the beach hi guys if uh, I'm not very chip then the moisture in the air is the reason it is really chip -go. I cannot do anything I cannot let my hair open because then it sticks everywhere and the moment I close them it looks chip -go. but it's okay that's good by the way I'm now in the shuttle that is going to my last destination to the beach to Tamidando Tamarindo, sorry, Tamarindo and I'm very excited because this is where I really wanted to be, the beach. I have had enough of jungle, I had so many farm tours, I hiked in the rainforest, in the fog forest, I saw some, so many animals and species. Now I really want to relax at the beach.